All right, I am here to recap a wonderful game three of the NBA Finals, especially because I'm rooting for the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets win 109-94 over the Miami Heat. It got a little close at the end, but it was never really close after the, after the first half. So I was really, you know, wondering what the big takeaway that I would, you know, drive home in this video. And I've said it in my other videos, I'll continue to say, this wasn't a Jokic masterclass, you know, this isn't a rare thing. This was a really, a, any other night for Jokic. You know, he played tremendous, uh, a lot more similar to his game one performance as far as the stat line goes. Uh, he did have, what did he have? 32 points, 21 rebounds, 10 assists. And I'll just start by saying, you know, you've heard me talk about how much of an all-time great I believe that Jokic is. Now I just think it's time for him to add to his legacy, you know, win championships, you know, get finals appearances, stuff like that. I really believe he's one of the best players, especially best big men ever. Um, and the stat they popped up. Now, a lot of the ESPN stats, you know, really, they they put a lot of filters to get down to, like, you know, a few people. But it was a stat that there's only three players in NBA history with 30 point, 20 rebound, triple doubles in the playoffs. And that is, you know, this is an ESPN stat, but it, the players that Jokic is in company with really tell you how great he is. There's only, so there's only three players. Jokic is one of them. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the other. And the final one is Wilt Chamberlain. And Kareem and Wilt each have one performance with that stat line. And Jokic already has three. And I look to my dad as I'm watching the game, and I, I really said, I really think he's on the level of those two players. And that's high praise. You know, Wilt Chamberlain, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, those are not just names that I've heard in a book. You know, I've, I study these, these greats of the game. I'm really into basketball history. And so I truly believe he's, on, he's, clo he, you know, he's close to that level. So, you know, obviously I'm not talking about full career, but just as far as a player, it's just amazing. I, I'm continually amazed every single time I've watched him. So he had a great game. So, you know, some people would say the Jokic game or Jokic masterclass, but I still think I'm going to call this the Christian Braun or the Christian Brown, whatever. I'll call it the Christian Braun game because, man, this guy showed up in a huge way in the second half. I was getting a little nervous early because I'm like, the Nuggets are getting absolutely nothing for the second straight game from either Porter nor were they getting anything from Contavious Caldwell Pope. And those were two huge role players. Aaron Gordon definitely played his role well tonight. Murray was tremendous. He also had a 30-point triple-doubles alongside with Jokic. I think they're the only pair of teammates to ever do that. But those two very pivotal role players and Porter Jr. and Pope were doing nothing. And I, and I looked over and I said, hey, they need one of these guys to go off. And then lo and behold, a, you know, a few minutes later, you start to realize, oh, it's not going to be Porter or Contavious Caldwell Pope. It's going to be Christian Braun. And it was super impressive. You, you know, everybody rants and raves about how hard he plays. And for a great reason, he plays extremely hard. He's aggressive, always hustling. And it paid off tonight. I believe how many points did he have? He had 15 points in 19 minutes, seven for eight from the field. He had an amazing steal, two great dunks. I mean, it was just an awesome performance. Denver played extremely well overall. Now, when you go to the Heat, they started off the game well. You know, it was close in the first quarter. You know, they were only down by, I believe, you know, five or six at, in, at the half. They were down five at, five at the half. And to start the game, it was Bam was on an absolute roll again, as he has been all series. And I think what really – and Jimmy was aggressive early in scoring. And they, they hit a couple of their shooters. You know, Struess hit a three early. Love hit a three early, I remember. Vincent, you know, it was unfortunate for Heat. He really got taken out of the game by some of those early fouls. But they, the Heat were, they hit a couple shooters early, and then Bam and Jimmy really were scoring at a great rate in the first half. So things were looking good for the Heat. You know, they weren't spreading the ball around as much. You know, the scoring wasn't distributed as much as it was in game two. But they were still, you know, scoring at a good rate, and they were keeping up with the Nuggets. And then everything went wrong for them in the third quarter. Now, the Nuggets played well in the third quarter, but the Heat offense just fell apart. And, you know, it's weird. I looked over to my dad. I mean, I keep referencing everything I keep saying while I'm watching. But I looked over. I'm like, where did Bam go? Bam is completely out of this game right now. And that turned out to be true throughout the rest of the game. It was just so weird. The offense became completely disjointed. And, you know, I think in large part that has to do with, like, Gabe Vincent being out of the game, out of the rhythm. You know, he wasn't really there to take the – take, you know – responsibility for shooting the ball and a lot of possession it was a lot of jimmy butler and it wasn't a lot of great jimmy butler in the second half 
Um, you know, it was just sloppy offense. And I, I didn't feel like there was a flow with a third guy like Vincent to start knocking out shots to really stretch the defense. And that's when you get guys like Struess and Duncan Robinson hit to hit the shots because they're going to get open looks because now there's another guy that's adding danger. It's just with just Bam when they were he, he was getting taken out of the game and then Jimmy, it was just very disjointed and Nuggets played great. So, you know, great win for the Nuggets. I think this is a, the exact bounce back game they needed. And I really kind of expected a bounce back game like this from the Nuggets. So I said Nuggets in five. I still feel very good about that pick. Um, you know, I said I, I said it would be a five game series, but every game would be close. This is maybe the one game that's not super close, but it was never, you never felt like you could turn off the TV, you know? So, and, and the Heat showed you that at the end because Duncan Robinson hit a couple of threes and, you know, all of a sudden it was single digits, but it was, it was never. And, and I don't want to end the video without talking about how great, you know, I mentioned Murray was great, but he was awesome. Extremely aggressive from the start. And, you know, I like to describe this guy. He is a silky smooth player. I feel like he's never moving in straight lines. It's always... He's just rolling around. Uh, you know, he has a great handle, fadeaway shots. Just every time he swishes the ball, it literally hits the bottom of the net. I mean, he has just, he's one of the most smooth players in the league nowadays. And as a two, I've, I've brought the comparison to prime Clay Thompson where, you know, he's just the best of the best as far as a number two goes. He's not a number one, but he is as the most elite number two you could have. And I definitely think that, but I was also thinking, you know, just mentioning, you know, he is really the, the best Robin to Jokic as far as Jokic being the Batman. I mean, Murray is a great Robin. You know, I even say like, okay, what if you threw Lillard in this offense? It'd probably still be pretty good. But it's just, it wouldn't be the same. I think Jokic and Murray work so well together and they played together for so long. You know, it's just the perfect chemistry here. And, you know, we didn't want to overreact too much last game when the Heat won. I don't want to overreact too much because Heat could come out and bully the Nuggets in, in game four. But I did also feel like the Heat did a good, uh, the Nuggets, excuse me, did a good job of being more physical with the Heat. Jokic had some great seals. He was physical in the paint. Uh, you know, players were bumping with Butler a little bit more. And I think they, that was another thing they needed to do. So I'm not going to overreact and say, hey, you know, the Nuggets are going to go out and dominate again in game four. It'll probably be close. But I, like I said, I still feel good about my Nuggets in five picks. So tell me what you thought about the game. Great performance by Jokic and Murray. And I'm going to call it this again, the, the Christian Brown game, the Christian Braun game. Alrighty, let me know what you thought.